Hey everyone, it's Baxter. Good morning, it's Jonathan. From Casino Guitars, we're here to shoot another um, video talking about, um, what are we talking about? The best thing ever. Is it what I think it is? No. Oh. It's the, <laughs> the Fender Custom Shop. <laughs> now, if any of you have, want to do comments or questions early, um, just try to think what Baxter's idea of the best thing ever would be. It, don't go too dark. <laughs> I mean. Okay, the Fender Custom Shop. Fender Custom Shop. We primarily, we, we obviously love the Fender Custom Shop here. We think they make perhaps the best electric guitar on the planet. Um, some of our favorites. Some of our favorites. It's subjective. Not, yeah. not taking away from the other no, no. amazing makers that have a custom shop built because we like those as well, but this is yes. one of our favorites. Um, we want to talk about how you get one built if you want to have a custom shop guitar built for you. And so When you're ready. When you're ready. That is their slogan. It is. It's probably popping up on your screen somewhere around now anyway. But um, Jonathan, how many custom shops do you own? I have two. So Jonathan works in a guitar store. <laughs> I don't know how that's right, but I do. I, own, I actually own two. Yeah, it's um. How do you? How do you uh, that's another story. It's fine. Um, okay, I own two as well, and I, I was. And this is full full disclosure. I was a Les Ball player, and before, and then I played a real '61 Strat, and I sort of fell in love with it. Well, yeah. it, it melted my brain. It was Richard Lloyd Strat, and I was. I, guess I was touring with him, and it was a, it was the coolest, and it turned my turned my wheels over. Um, and so that put me into the Fender world, and then I ended up buying a custom shop Strat. I actually I had like I probably had ten thousand dollar guitars. Okay, before I had a custom shop, you know what I mean? Ten thousand dollars? No, no, no. no I, I never had ten thousand dollars. I'm a musician who works in a guitar shop. Yeah, but. Um, and I, at one point, I decided I would sell all the. And I said I would never own a relic guitar because I kind of thought it was weird at first. Okay. Do you know? But then I played one, and I sold almost all of those sort of middle of the road, you know, higher mid level guitars. Right. I bought that first Telecaster, and then I just kind of lost my mind. That's your like, red oh, glitter that's one. That's my right? red red sparkle. Yeah. Yep. Fifty two. Then, then you have uh, what's your Strat? A sixty two Strat. Okay, and it's amazing. It is pretty much. No, I, I have two custom shops as well. I have a 61 Strat, Daphne Blue, but I also have, which is sitting right here, because this is sort of our like little strange unicorn. This is a um, Todd Krauss master built in shell pink with a Brazilian board, but the creme de la creme is the, well, are the Abbey pickups down there. So the Abigail Yabarro pickups that, we just look at it when we talk. Hello, we love you guitar. It's, um, this, is, this is quite a machine. It's not your typical telly. It's a rock and roll telly. But anyway, on to building your own Telecaster because we're now we we bona fide ourselves and yes. we are we're Fender Custom Shop we are. lovers and our wives are very patient that we spend too much money. So let's say you go into a shop and you want a Fender Custom Shop and you don't see the one that is the guitar of your dreams. Often you're going to find one that's just perfect. It's already been built out, unbelievable. But you might have some crazy specs you want or just something very particular you want. I have some of my own that I'm going to get done as well. But let's walk through how you do it a little bit first off. So first things first is you have to select your build level. Right. Which means do you want a team build guitar or a master build guitar? And I think we should briefly talk about what that is. It's true. Both, so, both awesome. So what, what do you have? Both of mine are team built. Okay. In my experience with team built is they're just as good as a master build in almost every possible way. Um, master build is where you have one guy build a guitar for you pretty much that he's the guy who builds it, be it Dale, Todd, John, Yuri, right. you know, Greg, any of these guys. And they have a couple new ones that just came on last year. They have a bunch. I didn't, sorry I didn't mention your names if you're watching this. I apologize. It's we love too you much. too. Yeah. And I do, I love all your guitars. But, uh, jerks. But um, the team build is, it's a whole, it's a very small team in the best of the builders at Fender in this, not a very big room, about the size of this room. Yeah. It's, which is, you know, this room's what, about like 5,000 square feet? Yeah, um, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Um, conservatively. conservatively. Yeah. No, but it, and, and they're like master craftsmen. I've met most of them. They're phenomenal. They build it start to finish, hand work on every little piece of it. Now, when you go to master build, you're having one guy, you're going to talk. It's, it's a whole different process, too. And they're going to build it start to finish. And they're going to have a little help from their assistants. And some of the team will come in there and help out as well. But they're going to have hands on your guitar for pretty much until it goes out to you. So that's your first step. Step two. Select a custom shop base model. So what that means is, do you want a Strat? Deli? Jazz Master? master? A whatever, base? Whatever you want. Who gets a custom shop base? Well, I 
I mean, I'm going to do that next. <laughs> Some, someone, <laughs> I'm going to get one. Um, but um, <laughs> and then then when you get into the base models, you have to sort of get into do you want a what year of a Strat do you want? What year of a Tele? Because they're all a little different. A little they, different. They are know? different, and most people don't know that. Um, right. It's I didn't know that when I was getting into this. It's there's you know there's a difference between a 56 Strat and a 64 Strat. Extreme in the body. Yeah. It still looks like a Strat. But um, and then you know that kind of gets into a little bit of like what kind of neck build you're gonna get. But that's later. We'll talk about it in a minute. Step three: select the aging package. Ooh. That's a that's an important one. Do you, I mean, relic. I mean, that's such a that's the hot topic, right? I just had a a very nice debate with a gentleman yesterday about why relics were were horrible and stupid, and or why they're amazing right. and the yeah. best thing ever. It's which which was my thing. I was like. They feel amazing, but yeah, everyone's got a different. You know, do you want the journeyman relic, just the just the little things, or do you want it to look like it actually has three right. drops of paint left on it? You know, it's because if you're getting an artisan guitar, right. you probably want a non-relic exactly. instrument there, where you're going to have like fantastic, you know, koa or some spectacular yeah. tamo ash type of wood piece. We've had a few of those come and go, and they're they're breathtaking. We had one for a customer, Mr. Myers. I'm sorry I'm going to say your name out there. It's, it's a fake name, so I can say that. It's his code. But he had a gorgeous custom. That was a piece. beautiful that guitar. That was a Koa Master Grade top. Uh, he, he, he. Anyway, step four, select your options. Ooh. Now this is the rabbit hole where you can spend, God, I don't know, like years going over this. It's, um, this is where you're going and what kind of fret wire do you want? Everything. What kind of tuners do you want? Everything. What shape is the neck? That's probably really one of the most yeah. important ones. What kind of finish do you want taken off of the neck? What kind of pickups do you want? What kind of knobs do you want? How do you want the guitar to sound? How do you want it to play is pretty much what this comes down to. And the custom shops I bought, I didn't spec any of these out. I did just... I didn't either. I, See, I I've never them. done that. I've only yeah. experienced that. I've done a lot with customers. As the seller, yeah. It, not, it's it's right. really cool. It's like, and so that's another point. I'll just interject. Like when you're building a guitar, it's um, it's pretty exciting for us. It like is. It's, like we're jazzed. Absolutely. Like I want to see it probably uh, maybe more than you in some ways, and it's just because it's exciting. It's just very. It's like a yeah, it's like a holiday it's here. Thing. But that's your that's your step four. Is you're, you're selecting your options and, you're, and you're, you're all your basic little details. And then step five is you submit your order. Now that's um that's sort of the process of what like Fender Fender has you go through. I'll even pull up this little book here. I'm holding one down here. This is your basic 2019 custom shop guide. We're gonna have little screenshots of this, obviously, cool. scrolling throughout the thing. But there's a whole back section in it which has a checklist. Which, if you have an authorized Fender Custom Shop dealer, I highly recommend you go find them near you or contact us online. We love to help. We help all across the country do these orders. But um, fill that out yourself. It's online as well, and have fun with it. I've done about 200 different versions of it. <laughs> Look, honey. Look at this guitar I just built. <laughs> How cool would this be, though? <laughs> and it's all on paper. It's like the Matrix. It doesn't look like anything, and it's not a guitar. <laughs> But um, I've done that, so I recommend that's sort of the real process. Like when you get get that, look at yourself online or on the catalog if you're lucky enough to be near one, or ask for us to send you one. We will um, go through that. Have fun with it. it. Has all the color options, all the parts options are in there, and we love to help with that part of it. So you can go through that, and then you can um, come talk to us and like sit down, and we're gonna walk through and try to find out what makes you tick as a guitar player. Because Jonathan and I. Believe it or not, are very different guitar players. <laughs> Why would they think I know. that? Even though I think we play really well together. We do play well together. I that's where the mean comments can right, come that's, in. That's, yeah, I'm God, sure. you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that you call that play. And I'm like, I, I enjoy it. It's yeah, fun. Yeah. No, but we have a good time playing. But like, you like a different thing on your guitars than I probably I do. do. You I know, like different feels. You like a massive neck. I do like a massive neck. I don't really have that preference. I, yeah. I like a you know, anything from a 1056V, which is pretty big, to like a small U or like a small, like, you know, mid 60s to late 60s. I, I don't I don't have a preference really. Right. I'm just like, I've pissed guitar necks are like tree trunks. It's <laughs> absurd. So that's your next step. So, um, you come in and talk to us and then you're gonna, we're gonna work you through it a little bit. Now, if you've selected master build, the fun part is you're gonna actually end up talking to the master builder on the telephone too. At least once, probably two or three times. And he's, he's gonna, I'm gonna say he, cause it's all fellas. Um, he's gonna he's gonna walk you through it and try to figure out what makes you tick as well. And the one thing I've always when I've talked to the master builders, this is neat. I don't know if I've talked to you about this. They don't they don't want to hear you say, well, what do you like? 
they want to know what, what you like as the wow. player. That's really cool. Because everybody calls them, and they are these gods of wizardry yeah. and guitar. Like this guitar, I, I hold it, and I'm like, oh, I have the neck do this. Todd Kraus, you jerk. I want another one. But, um, but they, they want to find out what you really want, so they're going to try to help get to the root of that. That's our job first, but then we hopefully have passed you off to the master builder a little bit to where he can help you focus that next. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to build the guitar for them, they want to build it for you. That's and they, pretty awesome. And they do want to make sure it's happy. Yeah. Now, the, now the caveat with the master build, let's talk about wait times a little bit too. <laughs> I think this gets to a lot of people. I don't think a lot of people um, know exactly what goes into having like from, I decided I would like this guitar. I want this guitar. To, this guitar shows up and it goes in your hands. Well, let's, let's back up, let's just yeah. go to a team built guitar. Okay. Which is, I think still. It's still amazing. The best guitars. I think every guitar behind us right now is a team built besides this one. Um, it, the team built's gonna take anywhere from eight to 14 months. Um, it could be longer. It could be. Depending on, the, so we had the one for Mr. Myers. Um, that took a little bit longer than that because they were so careful in the top wood that they took their time until they got the right piece. And we were so thankful about that because it was spectacular. It was worth the wait on that one. That, the top was insane. The back was cool too. It was green glitter or something. I don't even know what happened. It was amazing. Right. It's like an elf exploded <laughs> and his it blood was. was in the guitar. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Legolas. Um, now, now, let's get to Master Belt. Master Belt, when you place an order there, um, I'll just use Dale because I talk to Dale every once in a while on the phone and I think his wait time is about three and a half years. Ooh. Yeah. So it's um so you you decide your dream guitar, you're ready to go, bam, we do it. We're gonna talk to you in the year twenty twenty two or whatever it is. You Don't just, die. Just stay alive <laughs> for three more years. <laughs> that's that's no, all you actually can. I had this conversation with someone the other day. He's like because well, he was he was he was more mature in his age. Um and he was like, Well I don't I don't, I'm, not, I'm in no rush. I'm like, sir, I think you are in a rush. We need to place this order today. We need to find a guitar somewhere else, actually. We do that. We found it in right. another shop because he really needed it. Because, you know, I want him to enjoy the guitar. I don't want him yeah. to wait three and a half years. We found the right guitar. He's thrilled, I think. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I hope it comes in. I wasn't as thrilled because we didn't buy it here, but, <laughs> but still. we were thrilled. We do the Chris, the, the Chris Kringle thing, like Miracle on 34th Street. If another shop has a guitar you want, that's the guitar hey, you want. Let's help you it. find it. We'll help you. We'll, we'll make the phone calls to make sure it's the right thing too. Just anyway, so that's the process when it's, it's a long wait, but it's, it's really, it's fun. It is fun. If that you're I mean, patient. Right. Yeah. It's, you know, I mean, you know, right. I think so. A little bit. Um, and so let's, okay. So go back to the step in the real shop. So you've done all these things. You're going to go home again before you place the order in a realistic setting with us is how we do it. And you're going to think about it. We're going to think about it. I'm probably going to come up with more notes. Make sure there's nothing we overlooked. You're going to come up with notes too. And then when you come back in, we're going to have one more meeting, or you might do it over the phone or over the, over the internet. I prefer phone on this because it's yeah. very personal. Right. And, it's, yeah, it's, and I don't want to have anything misunderstood. I'm taking rapid notes. It's a, don't look at my handwriting. It's like a doctor that's had too much to drink, which is a disturbing thought. But um, it's, then we're going we're gonna to place the order. And then here's the thing too, once you place the order, the order is placed. Right. There's no take backs. There's no, there's, you, can't, you can't change it anymore at that point. Once it goes into the queue, they're, they're, they've slated it for build. They've started the process of like, you know, you know, it doesn't happen that day, but it's in the build queue. And then they're gonna start tone matching woods, the neck right. to the body. And they're gonna find it and they're gonna stockpile that wood away for you if, if you've chosen a certain combination. And then once it's going, it's going. And then the wait begins, it's fun. It's, um, we're in communication with you and the custom shop pretty regularly. It, it's sort of, for me, I know even when I first started here, it was kind of fun. I think right when I started, there was a custom build going on and it, I had never experienced that before from, from this side. So it was kind of fun to watch how much the custom shop communicated with you. It, it was that, that kind of blew my mind a little bit. No, like you're the, you're on the phone the, with The Fender custom shop is calling? Oh, hi Todd you know, Krause, right. yeah, like exactly. wizard of guitar. Making and that was pretty wild for me. Hi, John. Or John cool. helped us design a, a team built guitar for he our did, last customer. Which is crazy. So he helped us get the bridge and the pickups that would be the best. And it's not that you don't have to pay that extra for the master right. built. And we've had um, another thing that was really neat about the custom shop. We had one of the guitars show up and it wasn't perfect. It wasn't exactly how we spec'd it out with the customer. It was a sticker was put on wrong. The Fender logo was the wrong logo. We packed that guitar up, we sent it right back. They rush ordered it, had the, they, took it off, 
refin the top of the headstock, got the neck all covered up, perfect sticker, perfect. happy customer, um, happy shop happy people customer. too. Yeah. It was, it's amazing, they, it's, not, it's not a fire and forget operation. Yeah. It's a bunch of individual people that work there and, and it's, it's amazing just, you know, you get on the phone with like guys like Brian Maletti and Joe and all these guys are just great. These are guys that are sort of run the ship. And then like even when you got other issues of routing, you got like Tom, I'm going to talk about Tom Grossman. I shouldn't say his name, but I just did. But he's, he's my guy. I talk to him all the time about getting our guitars here in time when we got to send a custom shop back. He's on the horn immediately gets us covered. He's kind of like a really, really good looking version of me. <laughs> Which is not a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure what that means. I know it's like but. it's like it's like a, a hairier Gumby <laughs> version. I don't know. He, he sits okay. next to a bunch of guys at the, at the. He's right down the road from all these. I don't. I I can't get into it. Anyway, I stop. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but it's it's a bunch of people. It's real people. You get on the phone and you can talk to them. Not just us. It's it's not this this like sealed wall. Right. You know that it's it's. It's amazing, and they build the finest instruments they do. in the world. But please, questions, comments, concerns, if you want to get a custom shop built, any questions, we pretty much answer all of them, even the really mean ones. The really mean ones. The really, really mean We're ones. There. We're <laughs> expecting some of those too. But um, <laughs> I'd prefer to sell happy, nice ones. It yeah. makes me happier. Jonathan, anything else to add? Well, I think we about covered it. You company. can get your ex-wife's name on the neck to remind you of your bad decisions if you wanted to do that. <laughs> uh, We're still waiting on someone to order that. Uh, you know? Please do. And so if you want to do that, we will get you this guitar at a very seriously discount price. <laughs> yes, we would. And Fender will also help you with that as well. We just need uh, proof of your ex-wife. That's all. And the fact that you guys are not friends. We want that to be on the record. Yeah. Um, and some of the guys in the shop... Well, none of them can really attest to that, actually. I think we're all yeah, pretty good much here. It. We're all right we're, yeah. so far. You know, we're, we're, I'm working on it, though. I always tell my wife, she's, way, right? my wife, she's a great first wife, is what great. I tell her. Oh, she hates me. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, Fender Custom Shop here at Casino Guitars. Team built, master built. Like and subscribe. Click the bell. Again, thanks. Comments, questions, fire them at us. Jonathan, great talking with you again. Great talking with you, sir. I'll miss you until five minutes later five when minutes we're later. playing guitar over That's there. True. Bye. <laughs>